Well, what we did is we started, you know, years ago, we started calculating what would need to be done for energy, you know, to accommodate the growth. You know, we've got 7 billion people now. Each of them is using more power every year. We've got another 2 billion people coming over the course of the rest of my life. Um, they all use a lot of power. And um, we have this sort of general notion that people should be more efficient, but that's not going very well. And, um, you know, we're kind of getting away with it in the West because most of the other people in the world don't use very much power. And uh, that's starting to change, you know, as they get access to, to uh, power, they're going to use it. And so we just started looking at what it would take to meet the demand. Alternative energies, um, like, you know, wind and solar and stuff are cool, but none of them can really provide the base load necessary. Base load means the base load of power that you need to supply all the time, whether it's sunny or windy or not, <laughs> um, for humans. And we can't quite do that uh, even if we just went all out and built, you know, the maximum amount of wind and solar that we can. So we figure that we're going to need nuclear. It's the only, like, carbon-free fuel that can, you know, scale to meet the demand humans need. And nuclear has been unpopular for, for, you know, 30 years or so, but unfortunately that just means we've stopped innovating, and it means that we stopped trying to develop new nuclear technologies. And, you know, the problems that we have had with nuclear and the problems that people worry about, those are problems that we can solve by working on this. And um, so we sat down and looked at some nuclear technologies. We ended up um, inventing a variation on what's called a traveling wave reactor. Uh, these have been proposed in the past, but nobody's ever developed the concept. And so um, in our reactor design, what happens is uh, we use the nuclear waste left over from today's reactors as fuel. And um, we get a lot of the advantages that you would want out of a modern reactor. It's a safe reactor design with no moving parts. Um, it you know, cleans up some of the nuclear waste that's out there because that becomes our fuel. Um, we shut down the fuel enrichment programs that are contributing to the proliferation problem we worry about. We worry about people stealing the fissionable fuels to go make bombs. In our reactor, you don't need to uh, enrich fuel in that way, so you can shut those programs down. Um, and, um, and we get greater efficiency out of this type of reactor than, than what uh, today's reactors get. And so um, there's a lot of reasons to develop this. I mean, this is just one new reactor technology. It's the only one <laughs> that anybody's come up with in 30 years, unfortunately. Um, and what we think is that lots of people should be developing uh, and inventing in this area. I mean, we really need to do that. We need a lot of, um, you know, we need new technologies and we need them fast and we need to be able to, um, you know, provide the power that's necessary to, you know, to make everybody's life good. Um, you know, we're trying to do something we've never done before. We're trying to keep a whole hell of a lot of people alive on this planet. Um, they all use power and uh, especially to give them good lives, we need to have some power. So, um, you know, even though nuclear has been politically unpopular, um, you know, that needs to change because uh, it's the only way we're going to be able to, uh, you know, to make it work.